Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking you through some exercises you can do um, from a weight's point of view and um, you're struggling to do those while you're at home. Um, just before we start, um, just make sure that if you have got any uh, health concerns or health issues or underlying injuries or anything like that, um, just kind of listen to your body really um, and do what you feel most comfortable with. In terms of equipment wise, we're going to be trying to use things that we've got in and around the house. Um, so for the purpose of this one, what we're going to be using is some empty milk cartons and we've filled it up with a little bit of water in that one or we can make it obviously a little bit lighter. We've got less in there, but you can do that. You can use some tins of beans, you can use uh, your handbag with different sort of weights in there, so load up as much as you can or rucksacks or shopping bags with things in. Anything that's going to provide you with a, a little bit of resistance and that you can vary as well. All right, so that's as is coming up. going to do is look at a bit of a warm-up that you can do before you start doing some some exercises so we'll talk you through it's nice and gradual obviously it's important to build things up nice and slowly um, take your time with it just develop it and progress it as we go through and then take the alternatives or progressions if you're finding a little bit of a struggle so all you're going to start off doing is find a comfortable space which is a little partial squat so just getting the hips and the legs moving each time you do one just try and increase that and just progressively just get a little bit further into that squat until we've kind of after about seven or eight reps you should be kind of going down to what's comfortably your sort of normal squat depth but all we're going to do is just progress that a little bit further so hands down we're going to try and touch the floor with our hands again don't do it first time just get progressively closer to the floor and again after about seven or eight reps we should be finding that we're touching the floor and coming back up again again nice and slow nice and controlled then what we're going to start doing is this time we go down and touch the floor we're just going to walk out a little bit on our hands and again come back a little bit like a bear crawl and stand up again down to the floor a bit further and again bring it back back to stand so you should start to notice now you're getting a little bit warmer Heart rate should be starting to lift a little bit as we progress through this. Then as we kind of go all the way out, shoulders over the hands, fully extended. You can drop down onto your knees if it's a bit more comfortable. Just give me a little press up. Again, bring it all the way back. Back to the top. And I keep adding that in. Out. Press up. Back we come. Okay, I'm just going to do a couple more of these. You do your press ups on your knees, that's a little bit more comfortable. This time, out we come. Drop to your knees if you wish, I'll stay up. Just a press up, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Bring it back. Keep adding that through. Shoulder tap. I'm just going to do a lunge, oh, a lunge, down into that squat, walk out, press up, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, bring it back, again lunge, lunge, walk down, walk out, press up, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, bring it back. And just repeat that until you feel nice and warm. First exercise that we're going to do, so we've got our weight here. We're actually going to go for what we're going to call shoulder press. So some of you may be familiar with this exercise before. Actually doing this exercise kneeling, um, just because it's going to fire up the core a little bit more. Um, and it just works a bit better with the camera angle, but obviously you can do it standing up if you wish. So grab your weight, nice and comfortable, keep it sort of close into your body. We're just going to rack it around like this way, because it's just a bit comfortable for the hand up. And it's just a straight press, straight up through. So it's going to keep the arm nice and close to the side, and we're going to just tuck it back in on the way back down. And it's just a nice controlled action. And I say this is a shoulder press, so it's going to be working all the muscles in and around this area here. We're going to try and keep the body nice and still. In terms of how many you can do and tempo, you can vary that up depending on how you feel. So we're probably going to go for maybe 12 to 15 reps of this. Or you can maybe do it for a minute 
then have a bit of a rest afterwards as you go through. And again, if you want like a little bit more of a challenge, you can just vary the tempo. So maybe do it a little bit slower. So maybe for four rep, four counts, and then four, three, two, one, and down again. Or you can perform that just a little bit quicker, just to vary it through. The next one we're going to do is we're going to look at um, good old arm curl or bicep curl. So this is working sort of muscles into this area. Again, depending on kind of what weights you've got, you might have some weights at home or getting together whatever you can. So either single or double, depending on kind of what you're going for. So all we're going to do, arms nice and closely tightened in, and then it's just a slow, controlled curl up, and then slowly release down. Notice we're not really sort of swinging the weights up, we're keeping that back nice and tall. Again, I'm doing this one kneeling down. You can do it standing if you want. You might find it works for core a little bit more. If you're in that sort of kneeling position, just trying to keep yourself in that nice, stable set as we go through. And as before, you can kind of vary the tempo up a little bit, not to make it a bit harder. Or we can do something what we call sort of 21s or partials, where you might kind of just go halfway for seven reps. And then you might go for the next seven reps, halfway to the top, just coming halfway to that. And then you might do your last seven as a full rep through. Again, just a slight variation. You might just find that muscle working a little bit differently. So what we're going to go for is some lower body exercises. Um, so you can get your weights that you're kind of using before. All right, so either your milk bottles or whatever it is that you decided to use. Get yourself a rucksack and then fill it up. Uh, with your weights. So again, you can put your tins of beans in there, anything, whatever you need. Just weight it down as, as heavy or as light as you like. Make sure that's nice and secure. The bag onto your back. Then all we're going to go for is just a nice, simple squat, just down nice and slow, pushing up through the legs, just sideways on us, make sure we're kind of leading with the hips, pushing that down. Go down this as far as is comfortable. Let your hands go wherever you feel. The sole sort of natural, and you want your hips to be kind of going parallel down with your knees. Make sure your knees are tracking your toes each time as you go. So what I'm going to go for is some sort of like kettlebell swing or like a bit of a deadlift. So again, we've got our rucksack that's filled with our our weights, whatever it is that we've got in there. So the first thing you want to be doing, if you're showing you sort of sideways on, is that first bit of movement again wants to be with your hips. So as you push your hips back, just try and keep your back as straight as possible. Go down, then again try and keep that back nice and flat all the way through the movement. Don't let your shoulders arch round. Keep it looking nice and tight as you're pushing through. Now as you start to feel that sort of through your glutes, through the back of your legs, as you progress that kind of workout and go down as far as comfortable. Or then what you can do is, if you want to make that into a bit more of a kettlebell swing action, get the same movement, so pushing through, and then just drive it through your hips, gradually making it bigger, and then we're going to drive the bag up just to above shoulder height, keeping that action going. 